Welcome back to SEO College. My name is Jesse, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about SMrush, how to use it for your business, how to find keywords, and how to utilize it in a way where you're going to be ahead of the competition and rank faster on Google. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to book a call with me to get backlinks or to rank your own business, make sure to click the link in the description, also in the comments. And with that said, let's jump into the video, guys. So right here you see this is the dashboard. Once you've signed on for the first time on SMrush, uh, basically this is what it looks like. It can be very confusing if you're, uh, you know, new to it. If you are seasoned and you already have a good understanding of it, uh, we're just going to go over each and every one of the tabs so you understand how to utilize it properly for your business. And we're gonna just, you know, take a look at the simple, basic things. So right here, when I click on dashboard, you see that it shows you basically all of the uh, metrics for your website if you have a website attached to it. As you can see here, I have a website that is attached to um, basically the SMrush and it shows you everything from the authority score right here. So you basically see the authority score based on you know the current rankings of that date up to date. Then you have your organic traffic. You see the traffic that is coming in or not organic keywords that are ranking if there are any organic keywords or not you will see that right here then you see the paid keywords that are also attached to the domain that you have and then you have referral links so basically this these are the amount of referral links that are going back to your domain basically backlinks in a nutshell and then right here when you scroll down you see basically the amount of visits that you're getting um, the unique visitors that you're getting to your website, um, the page visit based on um, you know if there's more or less. Right now, as you can see, the page visits are down because we um, basically the rankings went down a little bit on this particular website. Um, and then you have the duration, time duration that a visitor stays on your website. So you can see right here, you know, the amount of time. Normally it's around six minutes because they are looking for a specific service and the bounce rate is pretty high. So it's 74%. So as you can see right here, when you scroll down, you see the backlink analytics. Um, you can see, click on full report right here and I'll show you a, basically you'll go deeper into the analytics of your backlinks. Um, right here you see the referral links, the amount of backlinks that you have, the monthly visitors that you have, which is for me is 10,000. Organic traffic, which is 3.2K, and then outbound domains, which is one, um, 107. Um, basically, you know, this is uh, um, pretty straightforward. You can see the top anchors that are ranking for your website right there. And then if you scroll right here, you see basically the categories of the domain. So basically it categorizes it in a way where it knows which niche you're in, which market you're in, and then you know what people are kind of searching for for that specific area. Um, it shows you the, the backlink types, um, the, the attributes. So in this case, it's follow, not no follow. Um, and then basically you don't really have to worry too much about this but this is just some um, other data that is included uh, for your backlinks right um, so basically that's it in a nutshell um, and then when we click on graph network graph right here basically it shows you know the network that is connected to your domain right there uh, if you go to each and every one of them it's going to show you the network that is tied towards your domain so basically network meaning you know the domains that are being referred to your domain if it's backlinks or if it's authority links that sort of thing right so you see basically all of the links right there if you click on any one of these it'll basically give you a better idea if you you know uh, click on that and then you can view the details as well which will show you um, 
backlinks, the amount of backlinks that that other domain has, uh, referring links that it has, the monthly visits that that domain has, uh, organic traffic that's going out to it, and then outbound domains, okay? And then you have your backlinks. Um, basically, it shows you, again, your backlinks, the amount of backlinks that you have, but it goes into more detail and shows you particularly which backlinks are going to your website. So as you can see right here, you know, you can see all the backlinks that are going to your website and basically the website um, backlinks. Some of, the, some of the backlinks, you know, can be crappy, you know, as you can see right here. Um, this is not really, uh, this, is not, this is not related to our niche right here. You can see this is for Coachella, which is a concert. So not all of our backlinks are quality, of course, uh, because I particularly hired a backlink service for this one. Um, but basically, we at SEO College have our own backlink service. If you are interested in getting backlinks because we're able to get more traffic with our own service, um, I highly recommend going with us. If you are interested in going with us, book a call. Um, link in the description, also in the bio. Uh, so basically, you know, this shows you all the anchors that are associated with our website right there. Referring links basically just shows you all the links that are referring to us. Uh, index page shows us all of the index pages that are indexed um, on Google. Uh, so you you see you know how many backlinks it took, uh, the domains that are attached, external links, um, and then last seen. So you can see right here it shows you everything that's indexed. Outbound domains basically shows you the um, domains that are going or the domains that we are pointing to. Um, so it shows you all of the different domains that we are actually pointing to. And then that's pretty much it, okay? So that's just a backlinks in a nutshell. I just wanted to briefly go over that so you understand it in a in better context there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is now that you understand how the domain overview works, now we're gonna go into traffic analytics. So traffic analytics is essentially, you know, uh, a way to get a good idea of the amount of traffic that's coming into your website. So essentially, the amount of traffic right here is shown. As you can see, you can um, you can share the data um, on on your mobile, you know, desktop, and then right here you have the trending pages. Basically, the 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 trending pages that are apparent there, and then basically you know you can also you know see insights on traffic spike if you have the budget for that. Um, so right here, you know, you see right here, you have your unique visitors, uh, basically purchase, purchase conversion, which you can only see if you, you know, upgrade to the $200 per month um, to access that data right there. And then you see your page visits. So you can see the amount of page visits that are coming in. Um, if you are interested in that. And then basically right here, you see... Um, the average duration or so right here you can see average duration on any specific days it can fluctuate uh, depending on the month and depending on the amount of um, you know de depending on the amount of uh, information that you put on there right and then your bounce rate right there shows you the bounce rate it also depends on you know what day what time of the month it is and uh, you know what the season is and what the customers um, goals are right so basically um, it shows you right here the top sources that are going to your website if you scroll down the traffic journey um, so if you see right here it shows you that there's traffic coming from Google there is some traffic coming from YouTube um, there's direct traffic and uh, there's also paid traffic that is going and then mail and then you have right here um, top destinations where they go so basically 
this website is uh, also an aff affiliated with Expedia.ca. Um, and then you get you get to see where your traffic is coming from, right? So as you can see, most of the traffic here is coming from either United States, the France, or Italy, and then a little bit from Canada, and then a little bit from India. But the bulk of it is coming from either France, United States, or Italy. Okay. And then right here, you see basically, um, you know, the the worth of the brand. Uh, basically, it gives you the net worth, the amount of people that are working, um, and then basically when we're founded. Okay, so that's just that in a nutshell. You can go to audience overview if you've paid for the upgrade there. So this is not available, obviously. And again, um, if you want to look at the trends, that's an, another upgrade. Um, so if you go to benchmark right here, this is another upgrade that if you want to upgrade um, on this too it'll show you basically a market explorer where it shows you trends traffic etc and you can get ahead of your competition this is only for subscribers if you want to subscribe for this and then again right here it shows you you know the market players and and uh, basically who's the competition right there so when i click on here i on um, it'll show you basically the competitor tab so you can type in your competitor here if you have any competitors and then basically monitor their competitor. And then right here you have uh, one to target. Basically it shows you one to target. Uh, you would type in your competitor and you can also create a list if you want to go ahead with that. Okay. So we're going to go back into uh, the SEO tab right here. And I'm going to show you organic research. Give you an example. I'm gonna, just going to click on wildlife, um, wildlife, wildlife.com. Uh, basically, wildlife.com is an example website where you can see the history of this website. You know, over the duration of of of, of this time frame, where the amount of traffic is coming in, and you know how it's coming in over time. Uh, so basically you can see right here the keywords that are associated with it the amount of traffic that is associated with it um, the traffic cost the branding cost right here and then then uh, the non branding cost okay so you see you know different aspects of that awesome so the next thing that we're gonna look at here is basically the competitors positioning maps uh, now you can see the competitors keywords as well as their traffic uh, depending on the amount of keywords that you put in here or the amount of competitors that you see here um, so that just basically gives you an outline of you know the competitors that are around and then the main organic competitors you get to see uh, the the competitors that are directly competing with your website so you'll see all of the different websites that are, are um, you know associated with the keywords and if you want to take a deeper look you can just basically go right here and then it will um, you know it, it'll tell you your metrics right here if you go on to keywords so this is just like if you want to take a deeper look into the keywords that are associated um, and then you can see you know different keywords that are associated with it if you click on the number of the keyword you can actually get all of the keywords and their positions for each and every one of the um, you know the the links that are connected with that keyword right there so basically if you want to find you know easy keywords and this is um, you know a tactic here that you can actually take keywords from your competitors if you do this analysis right so basically you're gonna click on KD percentage right here and that will bring up you know the easy keywords if you click on it twice and then green right here means these are easy to rank for keywords right so if you were to create really good quality articles on all of these topics right here you see each of these topics right here are getting around 30, 40, um, you know, some are getting 200 searches uh, per month. So basically, if you were to write an article 
for any one of these keywords right here, you're guaranteed to rank. Okay, so basically that's how you can steal hidden keywords from your competitors. And I'll give you a real world example in a minute on how you can actually steal keywords if you are, let's say you're doing affiliate marketing or you run an agency or you have competitors in a specific space and you actually want to outrank them well what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually look at your competitors domains see which com uh, keywords they have associated with their website and then find the easy to rank for keywords and then create content around those keywords this is a, a very sneaky and you know easy tactic to get your first like dozen you know uh, hundred uh, basically a lot of, of, of different um, you know contents ranking on the first page of Google there so it's a very easy tactic alright so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at keyword gap right here okay so this is the next tab so again we're gonna be using this domain here as an example and then we might use let's uh, let's say National Geographic, National Geographic, and we'll go to that website right there, and we'll use the National Geographic. So what we'll do is we'll put this in as a competitor, and then we'll compare the two because those two websites are related. So right here you see that there are different you know keywords that are basically associated with these domains right here okay so I'm just gonna walk you through this really quick so top opportunities means you know these right here are going to be um, you know these have high high volume of search traffic right okay so uh, if you click on let's say clever and then you see this has a global value of 9 million people that are currently searching for this particular keyword right here okay so clever.com that goes to clever.com and then you know there's various different clevers that they're looking for mostly people are just looking for a specific brand or whatever if you click on uh, basically keyword magic tool and then you click on uh, keyword difficulty until the three bars are up right here the smallest bar that at the top middle and uh, longest bar basically gives you the easy keywords that you could rank for okay so right here you have keyword density um, keyword volume the trend the intent so the intent could be informational it could be transactional it can be navigational there's there's a few different ones okay and there's also uh, commercial and there's also um, navigational so you know there's different intents you have to rank based on the viewers intent okay the viewers intent okay okay so the next thing that you want to do is basically um, right here so basically we, we covered you know some of the uh, tabs that are pretty important in my opinion okay so let's say that you want to rank for specific things you can utilize either keyword overview keyword magic tool uh, keyword manager or position tracking so in this tutorial we're actually going to look at specific keywords and how you could find keywords from your competitors okay so this is very important now because we're gonna actually take a deep look into how you can find keywords from your actual competitors and then rank for you know their keywords and then we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to actually find good keywords with great search intent right so basically what you need to do first if you wanna look for your competitors so we're going to use another example here. We're going to go to Digistore 24. Digistore 24 at the moment. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can find keywords and then rank on the first page of Google with specific keywords that are associated with whatever offer that you're trying to look for. 
Now, as you can see here, there's some pretty high-end uh, offers that pay you anywhere from $150 per commission. You know, some of them are upwards of $240 per commission, depending on which offer you go for, okay? So, um, basically, like, let's say you want to go for a really high-end offer. What you need to do, and this is for affiliate marketing, basically, but I want to show you as an example so you can know how to find you know secret keywords that your competitors you know have that they're ranking for but they probably don't know that you could utilize for your own website or your own videos or whatever you want to rank for you know what I mean so basically let's go for um, uh, business and investment uh, for example okay so we'll actually go for business and ex uh, a business and investment okay so and then basically we will um, go to okay so basically what you can do is you can filter it out by highest paying so basically all you need to do is click on search right here and you can search by highest paying affiliate offer right here and then basically it'll show you the offer you know so right here you're gonna click on earning and sale and then it'll show you right here basically your earning potential you know per uh, per offer right here so right here we can see you know there's quite a lot of different offers um, so I mean we can go for the one of the highest paying offer which is let's see you can go for this one right here we'll take a look at their sales page really quick and you know as you can see here this is basically um, a service that teaches you um, affiliate marketing and this the sort of thing like that so basically you know what we would need to do is just kind of look for an indicator of you know what kind of website would be ranking on the first page of Google that is related to this so affiliate marketing is basically a good keyword to look for right so we'll it will we'll take affiliate marketing and then basically we'll go into a new tab right here and then we'll paste affiliate marketing in there and we'll and then we will basically look for that in Google okay so we'll look for whatever is the top ranking website for affiliate marketing keyword okay so we want to skip the ones that are obviously sponsored and then basically we're gonna go for the one that has or a couple that have you know are that are at the top so as you can see these ones right here at the top authority hacker that might be a good one right there so what I would want to do is I want to actually just take this one right here take this keyword and then I want to jump back into um, you know keyword gap right here okay and then basically you can put in you know the competitor add up to three competitors so I'm gonna add one competitor here and then I'm going to go back and I will go to Ahrefs well, Ahrefs obviously is another keyword tool that we could utilize so we could go to BigCommerce big commerce, and then copy that and then we're going to jump back in here and you know what we will take Ahrefs we'll, we will take Ahrefs so we'll go to Ahrefs and we'll take that domain there and then we'll add that and you know what let's just add our domain dot org and then we will just compare that right alright so 
basically this shows you all of the keywords that are you know that are either strong or weak okay and this is how you're gonna find you know the keywords that you could utilize and rank for so right here you're gonna see a tab called untapped you click on untapped right there and that's basically gonna show you keywords that you could utilize that are gonna be easier to rank for so you want to you want to click on KD right here twice so the little bar is at the top and then the long bar is at the bottom and this basically shows you all of the easiest keywords to rank for that are associated with your competitors and there's about um, there's 200,000 keywords that we could utilize to rank at the first page of Google right here so you know if you wanted to rank for something for instance we could utilize let's say above millions promo code um, this one right here you know there's so many different keywords that we could rank for that are from the from the competitors so you can find the keywords that are linked to your competitors and then you know these keywords are untapped right that's why they're called untapped in the untapped panel right there so I just want to show you you know you could also filter out by you know search volume right here so you can see you know there's quite a lot of different keywords so if we if you want to take this a little bit further basically we can uh, you know put the range so as I said you know you could filter out the range right so the keyword range we could put from zero to maybe two or actually zero to ten okay so you want to put in keyword range zero to ten these are untapped keywords and then basically what you want to do is you want to go back to the filter right there so I'm just gonna go back into our filter and then put the and put our filter at the top so now as you can see you can see you know the the best untapped keywords that you could utilize for your website and you could utilize Obviously, some of these keywords are, you know, not the best keywords, but they're getting quite a lot of traffic. You can see right here, this is getting uh, 27,000. Um, obviously, I mean, you might not want to go with that one because, you know, some of these, key obviously, some of these keywords here are obviously going to adult sites. So, um, I mean, you don't want to utilize anything here but you can utilize the ones that are closely related to your niche depending on the the competitor that you put in there and in my case I actually put in um, websites that are associated with uh, like keyword ranking tools so you know you can see right here SEO for wedding photographers is untapped so if I wanted to actually rank for this particular one right here um, I could definitely do that okay so there's so many different ways I can go about this in terms of actually ranking you know different keywords there um, so you know as you can see right here these are a lot of different untapped markets that you can just create an article on and then get some easy traffic okay so the same applies to you know if you are trying to rank for specific things so I'll go to another example here something a little bit you know something a little easier to rank for because with this with affiliate marketing it's kinda just gonna generally bring up a lot of different random websites but we'll go into something a little bit better like um, we're gonna go into basically cryptocurrency which is a topic that's always infinitely tr um, it's always trending right so we'll go to the sales page right here so we'll go to the sales page and then we will look for crypto bull markets that's the keyword that we're gonna look for 
Okay, so we're gonna look for keyword bull markets, and then we're gonna do this again, where we're gonna look for the untapped keywords. Okay, so basically we're just gonna go back into our keyword tool. We are actually going to go back to our projects, and we're gonna start a new project. Okay, create a new project. So basically, we are we're just going to go back to our keyword gap right here and then we're going to start but before we start we're looking for this specific keyword right here and then we're going to look at what is ranking at the top okay as a matter of fact even better what we can do is we can look for just the general keyword the seed keyword which is just cryptocurrency so we'll t put our seed keyword in there cryptocurrency and then we'll see who's ranking at the top for cryptocurrency okay so obviously it's this this person right here so these three websites or we want to look for websites that are closely related to our niche like obviously coindesk would be a, a great one so we'll go to coindesk we'll copy coindesk and then we'll jump back into our keyword planner there. Okay, and we'll put Coindesk in there. And we will look for another one. Uh, let's see. Who else is ranking? So Ned Wallet is another good one. It's ranking at the top. And then we'll just jump back into this one right here. And then we want to add one more, which is crypto.com. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to grab this one right here. And then we're basically going to paste that in there. Awesome. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm just going to put in my domain. And keep in mind, this one is unfinished, of course but I'm putting it in as an example. So right here, it's going to show us these domains in comparison. So again, what we want to do is before we see, we have a lot of untapped keywords right here, over 3 million untapped keywords. So the next thing that we want to do is we basically want to filter everything. So to filter everything, basically we're just going to go to keyword density up here. We're going to click range from 0 to 10 to make to find the easiest keywords to rank for that are untapped. We want to put volume, um, let's say 100 to, let's say 100,000. We apply that and then basically that'll give us, you know, a just amount of keywords right here. So. Uh, we click on untapped right here and then basically it'll show us all of the uh, untapped keywords that you could utilize for your website so you can steal these keywords and then utilize them for your website they're very easy to rank for and then if you want to take this a step further you just basically filter out by the easiest keywords to rank for which are you know these ones right here so if you make articles based on these keywords right here, you're sure to rank, okay? So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It's very, very easy to do this. This is um, a simple trick to basically utilize this tool in the best possible way. Um, if you want to book a call with me to you know, get your backlinks or to actually uh, see about enrolling in our, our program, you can book a call with me um, worst case scenario you get a free call and you know you get a free strategy session uh, best case scenario you get all the tools and strategies that I use for my clients to rank on the first page of Google with our um, website and you can also get access to our community there when you book a call with us uh, basically our community is you know, I'm always putting out free value and a lot of great content. 
and you also will get access to um, our kit. Um, basically, if you are eligible, you get access to our SEO kit. So with that said, I hope you got some value from this video and you know, this is a way to actually rank, you know, straight to the point. I didn't want to actually go over all of the features of SMrush because, you know, it can be very confusing. You just need to find the untapped keywords and then create articles for those untapped keywords to rank on the first page of Google. That's how you're going to become successful with this and that's how you're going to actually make money with SEO. So with that said, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you got a lot of value from this video. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next few videos. Take care, guys.